हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इक्विवेलेंट वेट एज वेल एज नंबर ऑफ इक्विवेलेंट इक्विवेलेंट वेट एज वेल एज नंबर ऑफ इक्विवेलेंट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट इक्विवेलेंट वेट द फॉर्मूला फॉर द इक्विवेलेंट वेट इज इक्विवेलेंट वेट इक्विवेलेंट वेट इज इक्वल टू वी हैव मलिकुलर वेट डिवाइडेड बाई एन फैक्टर डिवाइडेड बाई एन फैक्टर द फॉर्मूला इज इक्विवेलेंट वेट इज इक्वल टू मलिकुलर वेट डिवाइडेड बाई एन फैक्टर about the relation between equivalent weight as well as number of equivalents the formula we have number of equivalents number of equivalents number of equivalents is equal to mass of a given substance divided by equivalent weight of that substance this is the formula we have number of equivalents is equal to mass of a given substance divided by its equivalent now we can simplify this formula because equivalent weight is equal to what molecular weight divided by n factor we can plug in over here so you can see mass divided by we have equivalent and equivalent is equal to what molecular weight we got molecular weight and n factor will go up then we have multiplied by n factors okay now listen very carefully we have mass divided by molecular weight whenever we divide mass by molecular weight it is always equal to moles okay number of moles moles is equal to what moles is equal to mass divided by molecular weight molecular weight okay so in place of mass divided by molecular weight we can plug in moles okay moles multiplied by we got n factors left side we have number of equivalents you can see this is a very very much important formula we got it equivalents and number of equivalents we have the formula you can see number of equivalents is equal to moles of a substance multiplied by its n factor it means if i multiply the moles of a substance by its n factor i will be able to calculate number of equivalents of that substance okay because moles multiplied by n factor is equal to what number of equivalents in any chemical reaction in any chemical reactions if we multiply the moles of individual substance by their respective n factor values we will be able to calculate the equivalence of each substance let me take one chemical reaction let's say we have a mg is there and it is reacting with oxygen gas to produce magnesium oxide okay we can balance this equation two oxygen we put two over here and here also we can balance magnesium this is a balanced chemical equation okay you can see in this chemical reaction two moles of magnesium is reacting with one moles of oxygen gas to produce two moles of magnesium oxide if we multiply their moles by their respective n factor values we will be able to calculate the number of equivalents of each substance let's try out okay so n factor value is what n factor value is a loss of electron a gain of electron okay so now especially this this concept is applicable in case of intermolecular redox reaction we have discussed how to calculate uh, n factor values for different chemical reactions in the previous lectures you can see magnesium is a neutral molecule neutral element is there sorry neutral elements it has a zero oxidation numbers oxygen gas neutral molecule zero oxidation number magnesium second group elements always so uh, always so plus two oxidation number oxygen in the form of oxide always so minus 2 oxidation numbers now we can compare the oxidation number of same elements magnesium to magnesium 0 to plus 2 increase in oxidation number 0 to plus 2 increase in oxidation number and increase in oxidation number is always oxidation in which loss of electron takes place how many electrons are lost we can find the difference in oxidation number 2 minus 0 is equal to 2 and factor value for magnesium is 2 okay now we can see if i multiply this is the moles and this is the n factors okay moles multiplied by n factor moles multiplied by n factors is equal to equivalence so moles multiplied by n factor 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to we got four equivalence okay very simple concept is there four equivalence of magnesium now we move on to <coughs> oxygen you can see oxygen it has zero oxidation numbers one oxygen is minus two then two oxygen will be what because left side we have two oxygen right so you need to balance the number of atoms before balancing the charge okay so you can see minus two multiplied by two is equal to we get minus four okay left side oxygen zero oxidation number other side oxygen is minus four oxidation numbers you can see decrease in oxidation numbers decrease in oxidation number is always reduction in which gain of electron takes place okay 
डिफरेंस इन ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर जीरो माइनस माइनस फोर जीरो माइनस माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू प्लस फोर एंड फैक्टर वैल्यू फॉर ऑक्सीजन मालिक्यूल इज वॉट फोर ओके नाउ मल्टीप्लाई मोल्स बाय एन फैक्टर मोल्स बाय एन फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू इक्विलेंस सो मोल्स इज वन एंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एन फैक्टर फोर इज इक्वल टू रिगार्ड फोर इक्विलेंस ओके वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इज देयर नाउ यू है मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड now pay attention for this substance if you calculate n factor value you will get n factor value that will be 2 okay n factor value will be 2 moles multiplied by n factors moles multiplied by n factors moles multiplied by n factor 2 to the 4 we have 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to we have four equivalents okay now look at this reaction very carefully you can see for each substance we calculated equivalents and so we are getting the same equivalents this is the beauty of this concept okay in a chemical reaction for any reactant or product if we calculate equivalence it is always same it is always same okay so we can say number of equivalence of each reactant is equal to number of equivalence of each product okay equivalence always remain same let me take one more chemical reactions in the same uh, manner let's say we have the synthesis of ammonia ओके अमोनिया इज फॉर्म बाय द रिएक्शन बिटवीन हाइड्रोजन गैस एज वेल एज नाइट्रोजन गैस वी हैव द नाइट्रोजन गैस देन वी हैव हाइड्रोजन गैस एंड दे आर प्रोड्यूसिंग व्हाट अमोनिया मॉलिक्यूल वी कैन बैलेंस द इक्वेशन ओके वी हैव थ्री हाइड्रोजन गैस एंड टू अमोनिया गैस ओके यू कैन सी वन मोल ऑफ नाइट्रोजन गैस रिएक्ट विद द थ्री मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन गैस टू प्रोड्यूस टू मोल्स ऑफ अमोनिया गैस ओके If we multiply these moles by their respective n factor values, we will be able to calculate their equivalence. Okay. Now let's try out. Okay. Nitrogen is a neutral molecule, zero. Hydrogen gas is a neutral molecule, zero. Hydrogen is what plus one. Why it is plus one? Now hydrogen attached to non-metal always shows a plus one oxidation numbers. Okay. Three hydrogen. Overall charge will be what? Plus three. Then overall negative charge will be what? Minus three because it is a neutral molecule. okay very simple concept now we can compare the oxidation number of same element 0 to minus 3 0 to minus 3 was reduction reaction decrease in oxidation number is what reduction reaction in which gain of electron is taking place find out the difference in oxidation number always keep in mind we balance the number of atoms before balancing before finding the difference in oxidation numbers okay left side 0 For two nitrogen, it is zero. For one nitrogen, it is minus three. For two nitrogen multiplied by two is equal to minus six. Okay, zero to minus six difference. Zero minus minus six is equal to n factor value, which was six. For nitrogen gas, n factor value is what six. Now we can multiply the moles by n factor value. Moles by n factor value will give us number of equivalents. We have one multiplied by six is equal to six equivalents. For nitrogen gas, we got six equivalents. Okay, now we move on to hydrogen. Okay, listen very carefully. This is a molecule. We have we have to calculate n factor value for hydrogen gas. When we calculate n factor value for any particular substance, we do not focus on the coefficients. In the previous lecture, we have learned uh, in details. Okay. So you can see two hydrogen for two hydrogen zero oxidation numbers for one hydrogen is plus one for one hydrogen is plus one then for two hydrogen keep in mind we are calculating n factor value for two hydrogen that's why you need to take the oxidation number of only for two hydrogen so we have one plus one multiplied by two is equal to plus two okay zero to plus two this is what oxidation increase in oxidation number is always oxidation reaction in which loss of electron is taking place. Uh, how many electrons are lost 2 minus 0 is equal to 2 two electrons are lost two electrons okay and in, in reduction reaction how many electrons are gained we have six electrons because 0 minus minus 6 is equal to 6 so in this case n factor value is 2 now we can multiply multiply moles by n factor value moles by n factor value we have 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6 equivalents okay in a similar manner if you calculate n factor value for ammonia you will get n factor value will be what 3 n factor value will be 3 okay you can multiply moles by n factor value we got six equivalents see the beauty of the concept you can see for each substance we are getting the same equivalents okay so therefore keep in mind in any chemical reactions 
नंबर ऑफ इक्वलेंस ऑफ ईच रिएक्टेंट इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ इक्वलेंस ऑफ ईच प्रोडक्ट बाय यूजिंग दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एनी काइंड ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल्स विदाउट बैलेंसिंग द इक्वेशन विदाउट बैलेंसिंग द इक्वेशन वी कैन इजली सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स यू माइट हैव सीन इन सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री वी ऑलवेज बैलेंस द इक्वेशन बिफोर वी कैलकुलेट बिफोर कैलकुलेटिंग द क्वांटिटी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट प्रोड्यूस इन द रिएक्शन ओके बट बाय यूजिंग द नंबर ऑफ इक्वेलेंस यू डोंट नीड टू बैलेंस द इक्वेशन विदाउट बैलेंसिंग ऑल्सो विदाउट राइटिंग द कंप्लीट केमिकल रिएक्शन ऑल्सो you can calculate the desired quantity of a substance in the reaction let me take some examples i have taken question on the board you can see the question says what mass of nitric acid is needed to convert 5 g of iodine in the quantity of iodine is given there 5 g and question ask you to calculate the quantity of nitric acid used okay so you have to calculate the quantity of nitric acid used in the reaction okay It says what mass of nitric acid is required to convert 5 g of iodine into iodic acid according to the equation this is the equation is given here okay and if you look at this equation this equation is unbalanced equation because left side we have two iodine other side we have only one iodine okay unbalanced equation and we don't need to balance also because we are going to apply the concept of number of equivalence we don't need to balance the equation okay so number of equivalence of each reactant is equal to number of equivalence of each product since you can see the data is given for iodine molecule and data is being asked for the for the nitric acid so we can equate the equivalence number of equivalence of iodine is equal to number of equivalence of nitric acid let me write here number of equivalence equivalence of iodine is equal to number of equivalence number of equivalence of nitric acid very simple concept is there okay now number of equivalence you can see mass is given there so we apply the formula number of equivalence is equal to mass of the given substance divided by equivalent weight okay this is the formula we had mass of iodine mass of iodine we had the equivalent i can write the formula you know number of equivalence number of equivalence formula we had this is the relation between number of equivalence as well as equivalent weight is equal to we have mass of a substance divided by equivalent Wait, this is the formula we had, and when we simplify simplify this formula, then we get number of equivalence is equal to moles multiplied by n factors. Okay, so you can see mass mass of iodine is what five gram is given there five divided by divided by we have a equivalent weight equivalent weight is equal to what molecular weight divided by n factor. We have the formula equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight divided by n factors. Okay. So molecular weight of iodine molecule, atomic weight of uh, atomic weight of iodine is what 127 multiplied by 2. There are two iodines, so 2 is one of 14, 2 is one of 45, and we have two. Okay, we got it 254. Okay, and then n factor will go up. Then we have n factors. For iodine, we can calculate the n factor values. Okay, you can see from the equation we calculate iodine molecule has a zero oxidation numbers. Other side you can see you can calculate the oxidation number of iodine. Okay, hydrogen is plus one, iodine and plus three, oxygen. Each oxygen is what minus two is equal to zero. Okay, we have plus one plus iodine minus six is equal to zero. Iodine is equal to what plus five. Iodine is present in plus five oxidation numbers. Now listen very carefully. For two iodine, zero oxidation numbers. You can balance the number of iodine. One iodine is plus five, then two iodine will be five to the ten is equal to plus ten. You can see it is oxidation reaction. Iodine molecule undergoes oxidation because zero to plus ten increase in oxidation numbers. Okay, in which loss of electron is taking place. Okay, so you can see zero to plus one difference in oxidation number is what ten minus zero is equal to ten. We have n factor value is what ten. So n factor value we got ten. Very simple concept. Okay, we have the formula right. This formula can be written: mass divided by molecular weight multiplied by n factor. Okay, you can see I have given this formula: mass divided by molecular weight multiplied by n factors. So that's what we did: mass of iodine divided by its molecular weight and multiplied by its n factors. We go other side. Okay, number of uh, sorry, number of HNO3 I have written. So let me correct it: equivalence of HNO3. Number of equivalence of iodine. Okay. Now, 
we have the formula for nitric acid number of equivalents is equal to what mass mass is unknown that's what we have to calculate and divided by molecular weight of nitric acid molecular weight of nitric acid you can calculate it that will be equal to 63 hydrogen is plus one hydrogen is one nitrogen is what 14 oxygen is what 16 each oxygen is 16 or 16 3 is 48 will be there okay we get 63 molecular weight of nitric acid and multiplied by n factor value we can calculate n factor value for the nitric acid pay attention very carefully one nitrogen three to the six we have plus five oxidation number for nitrogen okay because hydrogen is plus one other side you can see each oxygen is what minus two then two oxygen will be minus four then nitrogen will be present in plus four oxidation numbers plus five to plus four decrease in oxidation number is reduction reaction in which loss of electron is taking place plus 5 to my plus 4 plus 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 1 electron is what 1 electron is gained okay and factor value will be 1 for nitric acid multiplied by 1 that's it you can see every data is given there except mass mass can be calculated okay so now we can simplify we have a uh, 63 will go up you can write you know mass is equal to you can simplify 63 go up so we have 5 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 63 divided by we have 254 254 very interesting concept is there we can see multiply you know 0 is there 5 3 is there, 15 is there 5 6 is there, 30 and 31 we got it and then we have 254 254 we can divide it okay need some space so you can uh, write here okay 254 and divided we uh, the 3150 3150 is divided by 254 one time we have 254 we got 1 11 we have 6 okay then 0 is there uh, 2 to the 4 2 times we can divide it we have uh, 2 4 the 8 is there 2 5 the 10 okay and 2 to the 4 and see if we have 5 okay 2 4 8 2 5 10 and 2 2 4 5 okay we have 10 we got uh, 2 0 1 0 1 is there 1 0 2 okay 1 0 2 now we put the decimal we got 1 0 okay 2 5 5 times it will not go then we have 4 okay so whatever the value we are getting 12.4 is there okay so mass of nitric acid will be is equal to 12.4 gram okay 12.4 gram here we have 12.4 gram 12.4 gram is there means 5 gram of iodine react with 12 12.4 12 gram of nitric acid in the chemical reaction okay so the concept of equivalence is very simple okay whatever the substance are given there whatever the number of reactants or products are given there in a chemical reaction we can write a number of equivalence of each reactant is equal to number of reactants or number of equivalence of each product each product okay whatever the data is given there whatever the substance the numerical is talking about we can equate the number of equivalence of those substance and then we can apply the formula and easily we can calculate the required data okay in this numerical you can see the data is given for iodine and question is asking to calculate the quantity of nitric acid that's why we equated this equivalence number of equivalence of iodine is equal to number of equivalence of nitric acid then we apply the formula number of number of equivalence is equal to what mass divided by molecular mass and multiplied by n factor values plug in the values and simplify now now you can see till now we discussed about the relation between number of equivalence as well as equivalent weight equivalent weight if we have to relate number of equivalence with normality as well as well as molarity how we can relate let me discuss now we have learned the formula number of equivalence number of equivalence number of equivalence is equal to number of moles multiplied by n factor this is the formula we have learned already okay if i multiply this relation by 1000 on both side on both side we multiply multiplied by 1000 1000 on both side here also i multiplied by 1000 okay okay so you can see on both side we multiply by 1000 okay so this information will become milli equivalence this will be equal to what milli equivalence we got milli equivalence milli equivalence okay and is equal to 
1000 multiplied by moles we get millimoles 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 and multiplied by we have only n factors n factor okay n factors okay so milli equivalence is equal to millimoles multiplied by n factor if it is a plus is here you know so you can see you, you can get millimoles plus milli n factor okay multiply is there you know so you can multiply this value with any of this okay so millimoles multiplied by n factors that's what we have milli equivalence is equal to uh, millimoles multiplied by n factor this is the uh, very much important formula we have milli equivalence is equal to millimoles multiplied by n factor okay milli equivalence we have number of milli equivalence milli equivalence is equal to normal t multiplied by volume in ml this is also another formula we have uh, that is how we can relate it this is the region we had converted equivalence into milli equivalence this is the region we had converted uh, equivalence into milli equivalence because mil number of milli equivalence is equal to normal t multiplied by volume in liter keep in mind volume it should be in uh, milliliters uh, not in liters okay volume should be in the milliliters okay we have learned normal t is equal to n factor multiplied by molarity okay this is the relation we have to convert normal t into molarity we can multiply molarity by n factor that is equal to normal t okay so in place of normal t i can plug in n factor multiplied by multiplied by molarity so we have milli equivalence number of milli equivalence is equal to n factor is equal to what no sorry n normal t is equal to what normal t is equal to n factor multiplied by molarity and then we have volume in ml volume is in ml is there this is the another formula we have very interesting formula okay remember this formula is number of equivalence is equal to moles multiplied by n factors number of milli equivalence is equal to milli moles multiplied by n factors number of milli equivalence is equal to normal t multiplied by volume in ml milliliters and when we convert normal t into molarity so we have number of milli equivalence is equal to n factor multiplied by molarity multiplied by volume in milliliters okay very interesting formulas are there and so you can see by using these formulas you can see without balancing the numericals how we can solve okay how we can solve and so we can get the desired quantity okay let me take some questions related to these formulas the question is on the board you can see the question says the mass of nitric acid is required to make one liter of two, two normal t solution one liter of two normal t solution volume is given one liter and normal t is given two okay to be used as an oxidizing agent in the reaction you can see reaction is given there and if you look at your coefficients are given there it means that this reaction is balanced equation okay nitric acid is there okay so you can see use the concept of number of milli equivalence because normal t is given there molarity is given there then we use number of milli equivalence if mass is given there you have uh, mass is only mass is given there in this case you have to use equivalence number of equivalence okay so you can see the number of milli equivalence number of milli equivalence milli equivalence milli equivalence of nitric acid of nitric acid HNO3 is equal to what we have learned normal t multiplied by volume in ml volume in ml this is the formula we have number of milli equivalence of nitric acid is equal to normal t multiplied by volume in ml okay uh, normal t multiplied by volume in ml why we are using this formula because we have normal t okay normal t is given there two normal t is given there Ma two multiplied by volume should be in ml so one liter is there and it can be converted into ml one liter is equal to 1000 ml i plug, uh, plug in here 1000 okay now other side you can see left side milli equivalence milli equivalence is equal to what milli means we have 1000 multiplied by 1000 milli means 1000 equivalent is equal to what you can see we have to calculate the mass of nitric acid so number of equivalence is equal to we have mass divided by equivalent weight and when we had simplified this formula you can see mass divided by molecular weight and multiplied by n factors okay we had mass divided by if you want i can write the formula we have mass divided by molecular weight and multiplied by n factor since milli is given there we can multiply by 1000 
simple. Other side, we have normal T multiplied by volume in ml. And that data we have plugged in already. Okay. Mass is to be calculated. Mass of nitric acid is to be calculated. I plug in here mass. Okay. Molecular weight of nitric acid is 63 multiplied by n factor value from this equation we can calculate. Keep in mind. We have nitrogen is present in plus 5 oxidation numbers. Okay, when we calculate n factor value, we do not pay attention to the coefficient. This is the beauty of the concept. Okay, we do not focus on the coefficient. We can see the oxidation number of nitrogen is plus 5 because oxygen 3, oxygen minus 6, and hydrogen is plus 1. Then we have what? Plus 1 minus 6 is equal to minus 5. Nitrogen minus 5 is equal to 0. Nitrogen is equal to plus 5. Other side, oxygen is minus 2. Then nitrogen will be what? Plus 2. Nitrogen is present in plus 2 oxidation numbers. Okay. Now we can compare the oxidation numbers. Okay, plus 5 to plus 5 to plus 2 in the chemical formula 1 nitrogen, in the chemical formula only in 1 nitrogen. Then you can see reduction is taking place, decrease in oxidation number, reduction. Also in reduction, gain of electron is taking place. How many electrons are gained? 3 electrons. Then n factor value for nitric acid will be 3 multiplied by 3. Very simple concept. Okay. Then we have multiplied by 1000, other side we have 2000, 0, 0, we can cancel 0, 0, okay, you can, uh, 3, 2, 6, 3, 1, 3, okay, and then we can transfer this one, so we have mass is equal to, we have mass is equal to, 2 other side we have, and this 21 will go other side, we have 21, and 21, 2, ja, we have 42, mass, we got mass of nitric acid is what, 42 gram, very simple concept. That's it. Very simple concept. Okay, the formula is what number of molecules of nitric acid is equal to what? We have normal T multiplied by volume in ml milliliters. Use uh, molecules always when normal T or molarity is given in the numerical. Let me take one question related to molarity. The question is given on the board. The question says what volume you have to calculate V volume. Okay. Of 3 molar, molar means molarity, molarity value is given there what, molarity is given there 3 and volume is to be calculated, okay, volume is to be calculated, okay, is needed to oxidize 8 gram of Fe2 plus into Fe3 plus, means you can see Fe2 plus is oxidized into Fe3 plus, okay, as you can see, HNO3 is acting as oxidizing agent. HNO3 oxidizes Fe2 plus into Fe3 plus. Okay, I designed the equation. And it further says HNO3 gets converted into NO. When it oxidizes Fe2 plus into Fe3, nitric acid gets reduced into NO. This is the equation. That's it. This equation is enough to calculate and factor value. That's what we need. Okay, now we can uh, apply the formula. Okay. You can see it is talking about nitric acid as well as Fe2 plus. Okay. You can see the volume of nitric acid is to be calculated and the data for the Fe2 plus is given there. 8 gram mass is given there. 8 gram. Okay. Now we can equate the equivalence. Okay. You can see molarity is given there. That's why we will use the number of milliequivalents. Okay. So you can see number of milliequivalents. Number of milliequivalents. Milliequivalents of nitric acid is equal to number of milliequivalents number number of milliequivalents milliequivalents of fe2 plus this is the formula we have okay number of milliequivalents is equal to what we have the formula you can see molarity is given there so number of milliequivalents is equal to normal t multiplied by volume in ml and when we convert normal t into molarity then we have n factor multiplied by molarity multiplied by volume in ml so number of milliequivalents is equal to what we have n factors multiplied by molarity multiplied by volume in ml okay since you can see look at the data data of the mass of fe2 plus is given there so number of milliequivalents okay number of milliequivalents is equal to what mass of fe2 plus divided by molecular weight multiplied by n factor of Fe2 plus and milli is given there that's why multiplied by 1000 multiplied by 1000 plug in the data n factors for the nitric acid nitrogen present in plus 5 and nitrogen other side is present in plus 2 difference in oxidation number 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 n factor value is 3 so we have 3 molarity is given there molarity 3 molar multiplied by 3 volume is to be calculated other side 
mass is given there 8 gram is given there molecular weight of uh, molecular weight yeah atomic weight because single element is given there so atomic weight we can use okay atomic weight of f is what 56 okay and then we have multiplied by n factor value you can see f e2 plus 2 f e3 plus difference in oxidation number is what one electron one electron is lost plus 2 2 plus 3 loss of electron n factor value uh, f e2 plus will be one one multiplied by we have 1000 that's it you can see every data is given there we have to calculate volume in ml we can simplify okay now we can see 8 7 are 56 so we got other side we have 1000 divided by 7 okay 3 3 ja 9 is there then we can say volume in ml is equal to we have 1000 and divided by we have 3 3 ja uh, 9 is there so you can 7 multiplied by 9 1000 1000 are divided by 7 9 ja 63 7 9 ja 63 okay ml is there we can divide 63 uh, 1000 divided by 63 we have 63 1000 one time 63 it is 7 9 3 is there 0 and 6 6 the 36 we get 6 6 3 ja, uh, 18 is the 6 is the 36 and 37 is the approximately we, if you round out the figure you know 15 point something will be there approximate value we can take it as 16 so we get 16 ml 16 ml volume is what 16 ml 